morning welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about e-bikes that are fast so I guess the first thing is what constitutes fast I guess it's up for debate to me I say an e-bike that's not modified we'll say it's not modified it's just this is the way you bought it I think if it hits about if it can maintain or sustain on the flat level ground 35 miles an hour or more I would say that's fast so for example in my mind the Lyric Graffiti right here that I'm riding right now I would consider this one to be on the fringe of being fast because it, it can maintain about 35 or 36 miles an hour uh, that's basically top speed so I would put this bike in the fringes of fast very at the very low end of it of course this is just my opinion on what's fast you may have different interpretation of fast but uh, if you do, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. Tell me what speed you think is fast and name some of the uh, bikes that you think are fast bikes. Like I say, I, I would pick the uh, graffiti here to be on the fringes, just on the very bottom of being fast, just barely uh, making it. And then I would say once you start getting up to 50 miles an hour or above that, I'd call that super fast. So probably anywhere from 35 to below 50 is fast. And this bike being up around 35, 36, 37 to be just on the bottom, the outside, or just on the inside barely. Um, What made me think about talking about what bikes are fast and what do you consider fast is recently, for the very first time, I saw an actual Huck Cycles Stinger 3000. And I was talking to the guy, the owner, for a little bit about it, <clears throat> asking him uh, what, how does he like the bike and all that. He bought the bike three years ago, he said. And so he's had it for three years now, and he said he, he absolutely loves it. He's had no problems with it. He said they advertised top speed, because I asked him what does he get for top speed. And he said they advertised it to be about 65, and he's had it up as high as about 60. So not too much off of what they said. So, But he said it's been an absolute joy he, he's uh, uh, loved the bike for the past three years that's pretty good and he's had no problems with it so three years and no issues I don't know how many miles he's put on the bike but that particular uh, Huck uh, bike I like that particular one the, uh, the Stinger 3000 Their bikes tend to be a little bit pricey. He uh, was telling me he paid 5,000 three years ago for that bike. I believe they're 60 volt. I don't think they're 72. I could be wrong, but I think it's only uh, 60. But anyway, uh, so that got me thinking, now that bike for sure is fast. 
So what would constitute a fast e-bike? That bike would be, in my mind, be considered a super fast. Because it can go definitely over 50 miles an hour. Of course, these are just my, what I think I would consider to be fast. Other bikes that I would say would be super fast would be the Lyric uh, Voodoo and Ghost, the Onyx RCR. Uh, how about the Saron? Can they go over 50 miles an hour? Or the Talaria? So the new uh, Graffiti X is supposed to be a little bit faster than this. It'll probably, sounds like, uh, be anywhere to, uh, in the 40 to 45 miles per hour range. So that's probably, I would consider that to be fast, more of a moderate fast, not super fast. Kind of like the uh, Onyx, City 2, I would consider that to be a fast, moderately fast bike, but not super fast. Of course, a lot of guys will go ahead and modify their bike and, and change out controllers and everything else and, and make it super fast, but I'm talking right out of the box. I don't think I'd need a super fast bike, but it'd be nice to have one in that fast 35 to 50, just just for um, if you ever wanted to use that speed for anything, you know, if you were riding in with traffic along the highway. Okay, they're gonna let me go by. Uh, you know, if you were somewhere where there's no, here it doesn't matter, the speed limit's only 25. But uh, if you're somewhere though on a faster road that you know that has you going 40 miles an hour and there's no bike lane, I think you're actually safer to ride the speed of the traffic than you are on the side. So it'd be nice to have that little bit more speed. I know legally they say, oh no, you can't do that, but I think it's safer. So if you got any opinions on that or what you consider to be a fast bike or super fast, are you in, in my uh, agreement with myself or do you have different ideas on that? You can let me know in the comments. It's another beautiful day here. Temperature's about 80 degrees. Such a beautiful day. I'm off work and I just want to ride. I don't want to get off.
And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.